Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another wonderful Saints gaming stream. I'm your host, as ever, Matthias, also known as Mothas, and I am joined today here by Theo, the Holy One. How are you doing today? I'm doing great on this Saturday afternoon. Such a beautiful day outside, and we have a beautiful Overwatch action packed for today. We have our Saints, who are 7 and 1, taking on Brian and Strett, who are also 7 and 1. It's going to be a, fire, a battle of two monsters today. Exactly. Here in the Activision Blizzard Collegiate League, Homecoming League, there are a lot of heavy hitters. Let's take a look at here who is doing the best. Of course, it's round robin, or it's Swiss rounds. There's a lot of teams to cover here, so a lot of them are going to be tied, as you can tell. A lot of them going 8 and oh, at the top, it's Maryville in Illinois State. That's not a surprise for anybody here. But over at the top as well as M University of Michigan, Winthrop, Converse, Northwood, a lot of familiar faces. Yeah. And the Saints down there in 12th, still within the top 10 or so in terms of points. I mean, yeah, a lot of teams are 7-1, and one, as you see at the tippy top. Only a couple teams are 8-0, and oh, and they're most likely going to be facing off against one another. So if the Saints win today and they are 8-1, and one, they have a chance at facing one of the elite, elite teams. But you can see the only real difference is the map score for the Saints. You can see only 16 teams are at 7 wins and 1 loss. So today is a very big day for final standings. You know, you want to get as high of a seed as possible before you get into that uh, knockout round so you can draw a bit of a weaker team in the early rounds. If you go up against one of the monsters early on, that's definitely not something you want to see. So yeah. definitely a great start uh, to the season so far for our Saints 7-1. and Going to try and finish off strong today. Speaking of finishing off strong, this is the last day of Swiss rounds for the homecoming. We got two more rounds here today. First, this first game against BSC. And then after that, it's all up in the air, yeah. depending on the win or the loss. But nevertheless, this is looking to be a very interesting game. And you were talking with the team a little bit early. How, how are they feeling about that? Yeah, I mean, I was talking to their head coach today. You know, he's feeling very, very confident. I was watching even their warm-up scrimmage. They just look like they're fully locked in. They're very ready. And, you know, Brian Estrette, a team that has improved significantly over the past few years and have become one of the powerhouses in collegiate Overwatch. So Saints have played against this team before. They know them very well. And uh, works for both sides. Brian Strett know a lot about the Saints as well. So it's going to be a very, very uh, highly anticipated match for both teams. A very important match. And I don't expect to see any team holding back any strategies that they have pulled back. You know, the meta has been centered around Orisa. You have a Genji in there. And then Juno will be played on every single map. That's what we're expecting to see at least. But, you know... The Saints or Brian Strutt could maybe have a secret strategy cooked up for a single map or a single point, and that one tiny thing could be the change, uh, the decider in the series. Yeah, it's all about those tiny little decisions that add up to the greater whole all in the end. But with all that being said, there's been a few little changes to the meta over the course of even this little tournament we've had going on, this big tournament, Absolutely. I should say, going on. Um, I think they've changed one major thing in terms of info gathering is you can't exactly see what your opponent switches to when they switch for the first 15 seconds or so. So I think that'll add to a little bit of the mystery and how you adapt going in. Yeah, I mean, there's been a good amount of change. You know, there's a bit of a patch not too long ago. Uh, one of the bigger uh, buffs that was given to was Baptiste, his recoil got basically nullified. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It, his, it, that gun is insane. So I wouldn't be even too surprised if we see some sort of Baptiste comps come out today. But uh, more more than likely, we're going to be seeing Juno Break. That has been really the best backline possible in the meta so far. So I would be surprised to see teams stray away from that. But on maps where you can play really bunkered up and you want to play as a, as a snowball-y kind of Team comp, I could see Lucio Baptiste mm -hmm. maybe being a possibility. Yeah, we've been seeing Lucio, especially on uh, those, those flashpoint game modes, the much quicker game modes. Yeah. We really want to get to the point first and foremost above everything else. We've been seeing Lucio go on there, but I've definitely been seeing Juno almost as a must pick. Her ultimate is so strong. Her whole kit is just so ridiculously good. strong. Yeah. So I don't see her not being picked here today. But in terms of other changes to the meta, you know, looking at towards the future we've been toying with the idea of going back to 6v6 and i want to get your opinion as you play overwatch i mean it's 
it is going to be coming back. It has been released, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a huge change in the game. It's basically going to be... <laughs> going a, back. Yeah, we're going back <laughs> in time, and with all the tank changes they've made and all the support changes, I mean, they're going to need to do a lot of balance changes to get the game back in the... Because the tanks will just be way, way too strong with their synergies, and, you know, different tanks got different abilities when Overwatch 2 came out. Now, those abilities might be a bit too strong combined with another tank's uh, abilities, and, you know, it's going to be interesting it's definitely going to be a meta shift it's going to be hopefully fun to watch fun to play but it's going to be definitely something to watch i don't know i don't know how to feel about <laughs> it just yet i know it's going to be absolutely insane it'll be exciting to see how the additions uh come back into this yeah. collegiate roster, how to get that team meld going once again. But one thing I'm wondering is if we're, we're going to keep walking it back in time, <laughs> but we're going to see the role of defender come back. Remember that? Yeah. How, yeah. how DPS was split back in the day. You know, had like May, Torbjorn, and Symmetra on that defensive yeah, style. Yeah. <laughs> Same that with like a, Hanzo and stuff. Those so were the good days. Maybe we'll see that come again and maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a different pass, but we're, we're just spitballing here. But... I Let's get down to predictions. This is a best two out of three yeah. um, <laughs> game we're going to be having here today. How do you think it's going to turn out? I mean, I think it will go all three maps. As I said, both teams, very, very good. Like, we're going to see very high level of Overwatch. Probably not a lot of mistakes, and every single mistake that is made will be capitalized on immediately. So, I'm going to take the Saints to win a 2-1 today. Um, you know, I talked to the team. They felt very confident. They looked like uh, they were ready to come to play. But I know that against Brian and Strat, that's going to be quite a challenge. So should be close. I'm expecting a very close game, but I'm going to take the Saints 2-1. to one. Well, I, Theo, am going to be even more confident than you. I, Mr. Moth Eyes, am going to say the Saints are going to win it 2-0. Okay. A sweep and take it all the way and take the momentum into that last game like a wrecking ball. But they're not going to play Wrecking Ball, hopefully. They're, not gonna play, they're <laughs> definitely not playing Wrecking Ball. But we'll see who they are playing after a very quick break. We'll be right back with Game 1.
Hello everybody and welcome back. We're just about to load into this exciting game one. But before we do, what are you thinking? What, what what's one hero you're guaranteed to see on? Uh, I mean, field? I can give you like four that you're okay, guaranteed okay. to see. We're gonna see <laughs> Orissa, we're gonna see Brig, we're gonna there see Juno, and then we might see a Genji Cassidy type of uh approach here from the saints that's what they really like to play and you can see on the flip side be the bobcats they're gonna be going for the ash instead of the cassidy that is something that more teams like to do but the saints they love running this cassidy so let's see how the first fight is gonna start off they're gonna go into this right room give up the high ground squeak might look for a spear doesn't find anything there and Saints are in a bit of a rough position here as the Bobcats controlling this high ground just rain down shots. But Saints can just stay here for a while. Try to win out the pole core, but against an Ash, that's definitely not something you want to be going up against. Now Saints gonna look to try and rotate over, push the Bobcats up this high ground. They are on the Pharah. There's that is definitely a spicy pick here. The point will be contested here by the Arissa. Low HP on this Aritha and does get taken down. It's the first pick going with the Saints as they look to clean up this fight manually, getting taken down to one HP. Nice be there from Squeak. They're not gonna be able to take the Ash down just yet, but they do capture the point and the slow chase will continue for the Saints. Slow chase, they're having to take that high ground over there. It's got good coverage, but they don't really have a really good angle to fight back here. Take some pot shots at the enemy team there, but the Saints are just in too good of a position. The tank comes forward, very, very low. Squeak needs some healing, he needs some quick. He's popping all that Uto, retreating back. The site gets stunned up with Gain and she's to get out. But Prota and Manuel get two, and the Saints are dropping like flies here. And that is going to be the point, assuredly, flipping over for Bobcats. Yeah, I don't know why the Saints didn't decide to chase up onto that high ground after taking down the Orissa. Those staggers could have gone you a huge, huge lead in this round instead they choose to sit still and then reddix gets taken down and once your juno falls everyone else will fall down ultimates now coming online for both sides it's going to be both junos with their ultimate bob and barrage ready for the bobcat saying it's going to have both their dps coming up as well let's see how both teams have played this week taking a lot of poke damage gonna be the juno ult drop from both sides the bob is in there squeak gonna be taken down to one hp will be able to stay alive but reddix is the first one to fall and this is going to be a bad fight for the saints as they're getting pushed back into the spawn noxious doesn't find a trade onto peace but does get taken down another clean fight from bobcats only using two ultimates yeah, good fight from them, Red X. Unfortunately, not getting much utility out of that Juno ult. So that's going to be out of the equation. Proto, though, has used his as well. Now it's all even, almost all even across the alt line. In fact, the Saints might have the advantage here, so if they can use this correctly, lure bait a few ults out, they might be able to flip this in their favor. Razor trying to get to position here, trying to get on this back line, putting a lot of pressure on them. They almost flip the point. There's the Terra Surge. Noxious gets the high noon as well. And now dashing in, Noxious gets two. They're picking them off one by one. The Saints have flipped the point. And they only needed two ultimates to do so. Brig Rally was used by Bobcat, so Saints will have a rally of their own this fight, and that's a huge, huge win con alongside that Dragon Blade. I think it's gonna be big to see how the Orissa ult combined with the Fair Ultimate is gonna be used in this team fight. It's kind of a do or break fight for both teams. Whoever wins this next one will be on pace to take this first round. Reddix, though, I wanna point out, has way more ultimate charge than Proto, but the fight's gonna kick off. Blade comes out, picks up manually. Will more picks come out from this Blade? Noxious gets traded out, the Orissa ult comes out from the ultimates are raining down from the bobcats and they will be able to take this fight the fair or ultimate combo did work out in the end for them as soaks used that rally saints can't find too much even though they did find the opening pick just went a little bit too deep to do so a little bit too deep but they did make some good progress but time is they have one more good push left in them with no ultimates on the board it's going to be a very tough job to do so I mean, they almost have that Juno ult online. There it is. Let's see what they can do. 
if they go like right now before Prota gets that Juno ultimate, that is their win con. Let's see how the Saints next plays one. The ultimate will be used by Red X Panther. He's taking down very low on the Orisa. We will get killed up in Prota. Gonna be able to answer the bomb. It's huge in the middle of the point. Squeak falls down and it's a disaster for the Saints as they drop like flies. Razor and Red X gonna be the next to fall and it's gonna be round one going over to the Bobcats. Yeah, wow. Very good round from the Bobcats. I mean, the Saints just looked not confident enough there. They didn't go for the chases, you know, they played yeah. very conservatively and it kind of burned them for it going in to the rest of that match. They need to try and press that advantage a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, the Saints, I, they know they're playing against a very, very strong team, and I think that's what might have led to that hesitation on that opening fight again. If, once they get that Orisa, the rest of the team should be just falling like flies, but Bobcats just sat there, st stood their ground, and didn't die. And I think if Saints get a pick like that, they need to push forward. They need to show that they're confident, because I think Bobcats, Bobcats sensed out that the Saints might be lacking a bit of that. But going into map two, we're going to see Noxious switch over to the and we're gonna have complete mirrors from both sides. So now it's just not a matter of comps, it's a matter of who can play better. It is just a battle of skill right here on this point. He gets the spears traded out once again. He's trying to move in towards his back line. Gets a huge dynamite though. The Saints are doing a good job at controlling, but will they just stay up long enough? No one has fallen. The sports are doing a very good job at keeping this fight going. No one's going down, but oh. now there's the first pick by Peace, and Peace gets two. And now one more for Peace to get. Gets the three-piece kill. And Hera getting one as well. Make that four-piece for a team kill. I mean, Peace doing God's work on that Genji. Nice poke there from manually, which leads to Peace just getting in. They're getting a quick dash reset, and the Saints just can't find anything in return. The old charge gonna be definitely in the Bobcats' favor. They're closer to the Bob, they're closer to the Blade, they're closer to everything, so it's gonna be hard for Saints. They're gonna need a pick out of Noxious here, maybe to start off the fight. It doesn't look like that's gonna be the case just yet. And Saints definitely taking a lot more poke on the entry, so it's a good job from Bobcats finding good angles to find a lot of damage. Larissa Spear won't hit onto manually. That would have been a very nice kill to start off the fight. Bob is ready, and that could be the deciding factor here. The Juno ring does get used. Nice poke there from Redick. Redick with the Saints. Gonna match that Juno ultimate in the middle here. Can they find any picks? No, it's gonna be Soaks, who's the first one to fall. And the Saints are looking low on the health bars. Redick's gonna fall next now. No healers left for the Saints. Noxious does find a pick onto manually, but the rest of his team has been eliminated. Yet again, a clean fight from the Bobcats. Yeah, Bob Bobcats looking absolutely vicious here. The Saints not able to get any footing, and it looks like the momentum is swinging even faster in the Bobcats' favor. The Saints just cannot try to stop them. Yeah, and it's kind of one fight territory for the Saints. They do have a four ultimates available, and they need to throw as much as they can to this. Emmanuel will get taken down, but Peace will find a pick on the flip side. And Razor gonna fall as well. So Soaks falls down with his ultimate alongside Razor, so they didn't use their ultimates when they had them, and now it's gonna be hard to win this fight. They do get the point, however, which is very good, and with the Sarissa comp, you can stall out a lot of time, take a lot of damage, but it looks like the Arisa one's gonna be, be popped. Red X falls down, the Brig ultimate gets used as well. Squeak gonna be using that ultimate. The Blade comes out from Razor. He does find a pick, but Soaks is the only hero alive here. Let's see how this team fight plays out manually. Finds a couple huge shots to win Bobcats that fight. The Saints, I think, have to back up and regroup here because the Orisa on the flip side is just holding this, out, this side down so well. Noxious gets taken out to HP, does get healed up by so about 96% and taking Saints. Need to get a touch on this point. You can see Squeak on the Doofus. Red X will get in there. Has to be careful not to die here, but Noxious will be the first one to fall in the Bobcats health bars. Looking very, very healthy. Squeak is going to be the next one to fall. Red X falls. Razor does find the trade, but we do get a pause. I don't think this pause is going to lead to much as the fight is practically over and it looks like Bobcats will be taking the first map. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be taking that first map in a landslide victory, I might add. The Saints just not being able to get any sense of momentum, any footing on that site. But overall, that's that game mode. You know, we're going to have a couple different game modes yep. come at, at us along the way. So maybe in the next one, the Saints will be able to turn it around. Pause is going to be going out. This fight is almost as good as done.
Yeah, Razor will fall down here. There is one more member that is soaked, will die as well. And yes, as we said, the map is over. And as you said, Matthias, a pretty last slide victory, if I'd say so myself. I mean, the Saints just could not find anything to go their way. Let's take a look at the play of the game here. It's going to be peace on that Genji, yep. as we saw. I think it's going to be the 4K. Almost. Oh, he dashes up onto this high ground. Yep, Noxious just gets eliminated. Soaks gets eliminated as well. And the chase is beautiful here from Peace. Gets the Juno next. And it's just the Genji left. Just great, great play there from the side of the Bobcats. And, you know, Saints going to have to do a lot to get back into the series. Yeah, I don't know what they should do. Because it seems like Bobcats now, with that momentum of winning that first map and first game, I don't know how the Saints can put a stop to that. The Saints seem to be momentum-based as well. So it's two momentum-based yeah. teams. It's so hard to try and take it back, you know, get the reverse sweep going. Yeah, I mean, I would love to see the Saints to go to a map which isn't played too much and maybe play a different co team composition that will throw the Bobcats off their game. I mean, the meta is the meta for a reason. It is the most optimal team comp. But on certain maps, on certain points, in certain chokeholds, whipping out something that's not expected could definitely do the trick. I mean, we just saw both teams play the exact same team comp and Saints couldn't get much going. So, I mean, we're either going to see uh, the exact same thing on the second map where the Saints are just going to do a full 180 and flip the game on its head. Yeah, I think you want to try and go for some sort of counterplay or maybe even some personal pick where you know that you can play this, uh, yeah. this hero like a better maker. than anyone else. Like the Widow we saw there at the end, potentially. Widow, very strong pick, yeah. especially if you can just land those headshots. I mean, it's not the most conventional pick. It's not going to provide your team with a lot of support. But if you find ultimate, those headshots? But if you find the headshots, if you get your picks, it's amazing. Like, especially with the meta right now, a Widowmaker will have a good amount of space to work with. Like, it's very long range, looking for poke and playing off poke. Not, not much, not many characters have better poke than Widow. You just eliminate them in one shot. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, it is a very, very, like, high of a volatility pick. It's either you do everything or you do nothing. But with Noxious on your team, a very good Widowmaker player, I mean, it's definitely something the Saints have looked into. And I, it's not something I'd be surprised by if we see it next map. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised all too much by that either. But what do you pick going into the Arisa if you wanted to try and tried something else on a tank? Maybe a Winston, perhaps? I mean, but... that wouldn't be the worst idea Squeak known to be a Winston player one of the better Winstons in all of Collegiate. And uh, if Saints want to play a Winston, I mean, it's just so hard into the Juno Brig backline. That backline, yep. Juno can fly around the whole map at a very, very high speed, and Brig with those armor packs can keep anyone alive. So it's just hard to play Winston because you don't really have much to dive on. Mm -hmm. Juno can run away easily, Brig can bash away. But the Saints, I could see them maybe playing a Winston comp. It's just Orisa can just negate the Winston so easily. You jump in, Orisa just runs yep. at you with the with the circle and then yep. throws a spear at you and you die. And then it's very hard to play. Yeah, it's very difficult. I don't know how this next one is going in and out. Maybe you're correct. Maybe the Saints will buckle down, bring this to a 2-1 finish. But at this rate, my confidence has waned. I know <laughs> I said a 2-0, I'm already wrong. So maybe I was just wrong in which way this 2-0 is going to end up. I mean, Brian and Strad are one of the best teams. I mean, they they kind of rose up in the rankings over the last two years and just became one of the strongest teams in all of Collegiate. So they are a team that's definitely feared by a lot. And they're seven and one for a reason. All the games we see today are going to be against the best of the best. There's only 16 teams out of, I think, probably over like 300, 400 teams. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we're just watching the best of the best. So obviously you could see that from the gameplay of... Uh, Brian and Stratham, but, you know, Saints, I think they're still feeling like they, they can win, you know, it's just a map, you have to have a short memory in maps like that, and, you know, hopefully the Saints have a short memory today. Exactly, that's what you're hoping for, and you really want to make that top cut and make it to the bracket portion of this tournament, because... You play all season, you want to keep on playing, you want to earn and get to the next level, and you want to try and go for that win. Because Overwatch, with how uh, competitive of a game it is, it's very volatile as yeah. well. If you can just get the right ult at the right moment, or just find one little slip up in the enemy team, you can exploit that and somehow turn a losing battle into a winning 
map. Absolutely. And with the seeding, I mean, you saw the two top dogs there at 8 and 0. You do not want to face those no. teams early on into like the knockout stage. You want to avoid those teams at all possibilities because, I mean, they're 8 and 0 for a reason. They are just <laughs> very, very good teams and very, very hard to beat. So I think our Saints definitely know that and they know that they want to have a strong finish here but if they do lose they do drop to six and two and they're only going to be playing against other six and two teams so either way or another they would most likely finish the day today at seven and uh or at eight and two sorry which is possible mm -hmm. seven one right now so win or loss they still have good odds to finish at eight and two but obviously getting that win on the first game of the day and having that eight wins locked up would have been would have been definitely ideal but they still have a chance to do so. And speaking of chances to do so, we're going to take our chance for a little break right here before the next exciting game two.
our Watchpoint Gibraltar a payload map for our exciting game two. Oh, well, Never mind. And I don't believe his Chinese is too good as of yet. Not yet. So, uh, but we did see the map, which is very, very important. It is Watchpoint Gibraltar. And we saw some picks coming out there. Widowmaker on both sides. And this is a very Winston dominant map. Uh, Winston or Diva, I think Winston is just the better pick here. So um, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting map. I think definitely uh, a step in the right direction for the Saints here. The Orissa just <laughs> didn't work out for them. Let's let's no. keep it honest. But on uh, this type of map where Widowmaker is very prominent, uh, and Nox is being one of the better Widowmakers in Collegiate, and Squeak on his signature here of the Winston, I think Saints definitely up their chances with this map choice. Yeah, I think the Saints are going to have a lot more success on this map, where it's a little bit more of mixed range, you know, close range and far range, rather than all moving as that walking ball of death threat as we saw on the last map. You know, maybe you have a Widow on the back line, you know, Winston leading the charge in the front. Just not putting your eggs in all one basket. A little bit more of a dynamic play style, I think, will lead the Saints to victory. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with you. And uh, let's see how this game will begin. It looks like it's going to be the Widowmaker-Tracer combo coming up from the Saints. And they will be going for the on the break, which is uh, probably the best support back when you could get on this map. And... It looks like Bobcats might be cooking up a bit of a, a bit of a spicy play. They have the Reinhardt selected. <laughs> I would love to see the Reinhardt get teleported to the high ground and then just try and force the healers off, but that's something only I could do because I don't think that works at the highest level of play. <laughs> well, but not. maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe they might do it. I mean, it looks wow. like they will be doing it. The Reinhardt has snuck his way. Here, let's see where the... T I think they're going to teleport right in front of them. Reinhardt's going to pin in there, try to catch the Winston. Let's see how this goes. Teleport, yep, right on the bridge. Reinhardt takes it. Should be pinning in there. There he goes. Doesn't find anything, but Red X gets taken down to 1 HP. Will he be able to stay alive? No, manually finds the headshot. Wow. And off the bat, Popcats playing the Reinhardt. Going to be able to find a opening pick. Soaks here will be falling as well. I think that's something the Saints definitely didn't expect. No, I don't, I don't know what the Reinhardt's going to do now, though. I mean, he's going to go back to spawn switch. No, he's going to be taking the high ground. What else would the Reinhardt do as the rest of the team sets up? He's going to pin over. Doesn't get onto the next high ground. Gets slept. And anti Reinhardt should be going down here. So it's a good recovery from the Saints as they're going to force the Bobcats back. But the Bobcats get a deep decent amount of uh, pressure of that first team fight. Yeah, good amount of pressure here. The Saints doing a good job at recovering from such a brutal start. I mean, that Reinhardt, though, definitely got a little bit too overconfident, trying to go for a crazy pin without any support from his team, especially when the payload is so far back. Yeah. I mean, I could have ended any other way. We're going to see the switch up to the Winston on the side of the Bobcats as well, getting not much value as the squeak finds one of the back line. Yeah, and that's just an instantly fight one for the Saints. Nice anti-combo there alongside Red X. The Saints have done a great job of recovering here on this defense. They have stopped Bobcats a couple times in a row here now. It's going to be these Widowmakers that are going to be definitely the big game changers here. Whoever can find the opening pick will give their team the start. Soaks went for a very risky peek there. Does take a shot to the body, but survives. Manually will be the first one to have those walls up on that Widowmaker. That could be crucial. Has to use it. Hasn't used it yet. Noxious only 73%. Needs a couple more shots there. The walls do get popped and the dive comes through here. You can see Peace only looking for this Widowmaker. You can see Noxious through the wall. Nice one clip. Squeak does find one as the Winston does get taken out. The Nano Boost comes out, but Squeak is taking a nap. Pulse Bomb misses from Razor as the Brick is able to stay alive. And it's two picks to one for the Bobcast. They have the upper hand here. Peace is taking that to one HP. Does is able to stay alive. Squeak pops that Primal Rage looking for the Juggle doesn't find anything with that ultimate as peace down to one hp does find the mega it's still saying staying alive here but the bobcats definitely have all of the pressure manually looking for a shot on the widowmaker the brig rally gets popped soaks is at 99 to that rally pops it on one hp squeak also on one hp will be able to stay alive it's a great recovery here from the saints as they put themselves in a great position to win this team fight tracer gets taken out to one hp noxious though will be the first one to fall and now it might be hard for the saints soaks that's a huge anti that lands onto him squeak gets taken out to one hp and saints 
getting on this point will be deadly. It's going to be the cap coming through from the Bobcats, but still a relatively good start to the map for the Saints. Yeah, an absolute pandemonium there on that first checkpoint. The Saints doing a very good job at trying to stop the bleeding where it's happening. And now Noxious has that Widow all can get a little bit of info, hopefully get quite a few headshots going here as well. Sniper battle happening across the map, going for jump shots, just barely misses the headshot. Trying to go for this other Widow. See through the walls, can they see the line? And there it is, Noxious getting a beautiful headshot. That's a good shot from Noxious, and the Razor will follow that up with a kill onto Proda. And a no why it's a great, great team fight from the Saints, started by Noxious, and uh, they instantly shut down the Bobcats attack. For this next team fight, though, Bobcats will have that nano boost to go on to the monkey, and neither Redix or Soaks have any ultimates to slow that down. So it's going to be interesting how this next team fight goes out. Oh, wow, wow. quick scope by manually somehow getting the tracer through all the chaos and now that's gonna be a big opening oh. but the anti on the Winston oh. has to pop his ultimate he gets one good ultimate usage by Pantera sniper battle happening from on top of the ship Noxious blues with the fight as well now BSC Bobcats have a beautiful opening to take this next point yeah I mean Noxious one of the Better Widowmaker players manually though, not one to be looked down upon. A great play from him so far on this map and has found some crucial picks to start off these team fights. 53 and a half minutes left for the Bobcats as they kind of breeze through that second point, which is usually the hardest point to cap, I would say, on this map. Third point's a little bit hard as well, but if you can get your Widowmaker up in that top right slot, it just becomes a lot easier. So shots are coming through from manually. He's just giving Redix his ultimate here at this point. He's not finding any picks. Nano boost will be ready. Saints gonna have four ults ready to Bobcats three. Nano boost at minute. Three the math is adding up. This is looking to be an exciting deep fight, but Razor finds the first pick on Nenwai. Now, Squeak getting one as well. The supports are gone. Pantera, though, getting a support of his own. Noxious taking down the tank, and that's gonna Ooh. be the big team fight for the Saints. A great, a great fight for the Saints. They only use the one ultimate compared to the Bobcats too. And now they're gonna have the Rally, the Primal Rage, and the Pulse Bomb. Three ultimates that can really, really turn a fight. I think it's gonna be all on manually here to find the opening pick of the Bobcats. Want to find anything? Razor does get spotted out, but it's on up. It's in the middle of nowhere. Proto gets taken out to one HP. The post bomb does miss. And Proto somehow stays alive. The rally gets used as well. Squeak uses that primal rage, but has to leave as gets taken out to half HP. It's a good start to the fight for the Bobcats. Razor gonna get eliminated by Peace Panther, though. Does not have that primal rage. Gets taken out to one HP. Can they find the kill on the Winston? No, they will not be able to manually. On the in the meantime, finds a pick on to Noxious and Soaks. Now, without that rally, gonna be very, very vulnerable. Relic's trying to keep Soaks alive live here and they do find a pick onto peace that's a great great pickup of squeak on the flip side is on one hp on that winston can they keep the squeak alive yes they can it's gonna be saints taking down this team fight as noxious finds a pick onto proto and now they look for the chase for the chase just two minutes left to hold this you don't want to give up that full completion of bobcats especially but it's been such a hard fought battle so far. The Winstons are moving in. He ignores it though to go for the backline, but he's going to do his own backline. So that Winston gets a leap on the wrong person. This battle is going to be all over. And now, looking for the right angle, it's Noxious up here on the high ground, just eyeing the targets here, trying to find oh. a shot, a beautiful shot, taking it out manually. And that's just gonna be an instant fight win for the Saints, gonna burn at least 20 more seconds off the clock of the Bobcats before they can make any advancements, but they are going to be regrouping with a couple of key ultimates. They have the Nano Boost, they have the Primal Rage, they have the Pulse Bomb, and they have the Widowmaker Ultimate, which will be used immediately, give the wall hands to the whole team. But the Nano Boost goes on to squeak. Razor almost find the one cup onto manually, and there's a Couple picks for the Saints, no DPS left for the side of Bobcats. I don't think even with this pick in the backpack, Panthora should use this Primal Rage. No, won't be used. Squeak does use his to close out the team fight, but it's a team kill for the Saints as we're now down to one fight territory on this last point. Yeah, one fight territory, 35 seconds remaining left on the clock. Pantera has that ultimate. So the Saints have to watch out. This Winston's gonna have two lives to burn through. That second one is gonna have so much health. Now, 
20 seconds remaining. Pantera's waiting for the panic to set in. They're approaching onto the point with the Captain Saints in disarray. There it is. Pantera's oh. moving in. Uses the ult. Tries to get rid of this backline. Gets slept. And now he's back up, though. They can't take him out. Huge anti. This oh. Tracer's one, but manages to get out manually, getting Razor down. It's so unfortunate. Now the Saints are down a man. It's going to be tough to bring this one back. He's getting clubbed through all the chaos. Oh my god, you're right, the tank is dead. The Saints might be able to win this. It's just the back line here surviving. Sleep, to sleep, the anti things are not looking good. They're pushing the point even closer. The Saints need to win this one and win it soon. But they take out that Brigitte, and now it's looking like the Saints might get it, but the switch to the Doofus goes on to the point. Pantera shaking things up once again, but he has no support, he has no life left, and that's going to be the Saints just barely, barely stopping the Bobcats. I mean, that was a great hold on last point from the Saints. Now we spoke about how momentum driven this team is. They're going to be full of it after that one. Even in a fight where they lost a couple of here, people here and there, they, they did find a tank in the middle of it all, which just in the longer fights, if the tank's dead, your tank comes back. It's definitely a winning team fight. And now on the attack, Saints will need to do a lot. I mean, Noxious was doing a lot of work on that last point on the Widowmaker manually couldn't find anything. I think that's going to be the key to success here for the Saints. But if manually is finding those headshots and opening up the team fights with picks, it's going to be very, very tough for the Saints to make, to make a push. It's going to be so tough indeed. But if there's anyone to do it, I think it's going to be the Saints. I mean, this Winston Cup is just looking so much more cohesive. I mean, well, the Bobcats did just get an amazing run of their own. I mean, almost to the third point is nothing to sneeze at. The Saints were going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Even winning team fights at times, they should not have that attacker's advantage. You know, they were not able to push. They had to always give a little bit of room back over to the Bobcats. Yes, the Bobcats will try to find the stop here. And it looks like the Saints won't be going for the same Reinhardt type of play. They will just teleport. Uh, probably to the bottom there and try to take the high ground slowly so let's see how they decide to play this one the widowmaker here will find a body shot onto that winston but won't find anything now the saints look to push the attack squeak trying to take the high ground here but doesn't want to go too deep here panthera will be hard to force this winston now from this position who can use that wall for protection shots coming out here's gonna be the swing coming out from noxious let's find anything a grapple hook shot will come out but manually what a headshot there on to noxious that's the opening pick they needed panthera got taken out very very low but will be able to stay alive saints though are getting decent card progress they're able to push this one in pretty deep as razor doing really good work in peace here but now the saints have realized they have to regroup they're gonna look to do so the anti though is big so the supports will Tough for them to walk through, but they find the sleep initially. Let's see how the pinch onto the backline works here for the Bobcats. Soaks kicks take down to one health point and will be taken out. Bobcats showing why on this defense, on this high ground, it's so hard to push into them. Sleep yet again hits onto Panthera. Can they find that kill? No one HP again on this Winston. And Bobcats are doing an amazing job of keeping their Winston alive. They have the nano boost first have the nano boost online and the saints struggling to push past this first choke point i mean they're doing it slowly but surely but you want to have a little bit more time in your hands especially with how even these teams are the anti goes out for proto proto just barely somehow gets out with all that and manually picking all the dps off one by one i mean the saints not having a good run of it so far. They need to break through right here, right now. That might be it. Noxious getting a headshot on the Tracer. Might really think they need to win this one. And the ultimate committed by Squeak. He's gonna try and shake things up. This rough, this play, this hunker bunker down on the Bobcat side. Yeah, the Nana Boost comes out on to Squeak. Can he find any kills here? Proto is taking out very low. And Noxious will be the first to fall. Peace falls as well as the Bobcats are finding picks left and right. But they are using a lot of ultimates to do so they use a couple and it's gonna be all of the saints uh, dropping bobcats using the nano primal and uh, the walls there it's gonna be an ultimate advantage for the saints both rallies available 
And it's gonna be, I think, big, big ultimate here by Noxious. If he can find an opening pick again with these wall hacks, would be a great start to the round for the Saints. Looks for it there, but I think Bobcats were ready for that one. Dive comes in from the side of the Saints. That's a nice pulse bomb. Doesn't find anything, but there it is. Noxious finds the opening pick onto New Y. Now this fight should open up for the Saints unless Peace finds something with a pulse bomb. He does it. The rally comes through from Soaks on this high ground. They're able to grab full control, but they take down Proto, and the cap should be coming through here for the Saints. Cap should be coming through, and there it is. The Saints getting that much needed first point. Just one more point to try and bring this one all the way home for themselves they need to make this next one get that last stand push you dare touch my right, pocket. let's see what manually can do here eyeing that Brigitte just doing some damage to the shield overall he's doing a very good job at breaking through all these tricks yeah up in this point they have three minutes to cap so plenty of time to work with how they decide to attack this one. That's not a good start. Squeak's gonna fall. Reddix falls as well. And now it's gonna be Bobcat taking all of the space here. Razor trying to take down the tank here, but all that damage. It's gonna be Proto healing up. Panthera being very close to yet another nano boost. It's a lot of tempo the Bobcats have with these earlier nano boosts as Proto Panthera's doing a great job of taking a lot of damage and Proto's doing a perfect job of keeping that Winston alive. And it's gonna be Saints trying to just push the cart. Bobcats don't really care about that one, just diving on to the backline. Noxious on one HP. Panthera, that's a great bubble. Stops three people from basically joining this team fight. But in the meantime, Saints still pushing the payload. Squeak gonna be using that Primal Rage. It's gonna be forcing out the rally on the flip side. So it's a good start to the team fight for the Saints. And manually gets juggled. Beautiful juggle there from Squeak. But Reddix falls on the flip side. Still Squeak trying to find something. Gets slept. And Noxious will get taken out by Panthera. Looks like the backline pinch from the Bobcats was just a little bit too good for the Saints in that fight. Peace finds a nice stick onto Squeak. A bit of an, I think, overcommit towards the end of the fight. So a good, good ending to the fight, but a great fight from the Bobcats. Great fight for the Saints, too. I mean, they were losing that fight the entire time, but they had some people pushing that cart up halfway. I mean, they used a third of their time to get half the amount of progress they need to cap this one. That's a pretty good trade. You just want to try and get there. If they can do that one more time, they should be able to catch the point. Absolutely, and the, but the first few picks come out here from the Bobcats. And now Saints are going to be down to around a minute. They are going to need to do a lot of work here. Practically a couple fights left if they go well. Let's see how they decide to play this one. This Winston has done a great job of stopping the backline of the Saints from pushing through. You can see they're forced to rally immediately, and that's not how you want to be using that ultimate soak. So we'll try and push through and make some space for his team to walk through, and they are able to do so. They do take the secondary high ground. Panthera taken very, very low. The healing, though, won't come through in time as beautiful kills now from the Saints. Need to not overcommit all their ultimates here. Squeak finding a couple kills with that one. I don't know if the side of Bobcats will be able to find another touch here. Manually does fall towards the later parts of the fight, and this tracer will fall as well. I think the point will be capped by the Saints here. And now they just need to make one final push on the last point to find the cap. But the Primal Rage isn't ready yet for Panthera. They are going to try and contest this one. The rally comes out on the brick shield. Is a stick. Panthera 87 to the ultimate. Doesn't get it. And I think that might have been a bit of a throw from the Bobcats. They just expanded a huge, huge ultimate in the rally instead of saving it for this defense where the Saints have a chance to win the map. Yeah, it's a big gambit by Bobcats if they could have made something work there, but didn't end up going very well for them at all. They didn't find a single pick out of all that chaos, and now the Saints have so much pressure and momentum going into this last point. I mean, if they bring it all the way, if they can manage to go uh, to that tie point, we're going to be seeing a game three on our hands. Absolutely, the fight's gonna kick off. The nano boost comes out early, and it's gonna be the Bobcats putting on the pressure on the Saints. It's gonna be a couple early picks by Panther and Proda. Panther finding soaks as well. There's just Noxious on his high ground for something. Can't find anything. Saints working toward those ultimates. They have a couple fights left. I feel like if they take a dry fight here, they don't use any ultimates and force out a couple ultimates from the Bobcats. It's very winnable. I mean, Reddick's very close to the nano boost. That could be the win con for the Saints, but I would like to see them save it for this team fight and just save it for the last one. Yeah, 
to agree with you there wholeheartedly. Oh, wow. Beautiful snipes coming through. They can't quite land those headshots. A lot of pressure oh, around this corner. If he's taking out Noxious. He's not going to be able to contest his Widow very well anymore. Razor, though, getting a good trade right back there. Squeak moving in on this back line. Need to get the, rid of this Widow and Quick so the team can move it. Squishy's going to move it. Oh, big, big sleep. sleep. A great sleep. I mean, I think the most important part here is the soaks. He's very, very close to that break ultimate. That could be the winning ultimate for this last team fight. Let's see how both teams are to play this. Bobcats aren't too close to those support ultimates. Have nothing online. Saints have three ultimates ready to go in this last team fight. It's going to be all or nothing for both teams. Overtime is about to tick off. If Bobcats can stall long enough to get both their support ultimates, that is their win con. I think it's going to be all on Noxious to find the opening headshot here. Soaks is going to be forced to rally. Does get anti, but will be to stay alive. Squeak just sitting on that point, making a lot of space, and the pick goes to, to, towards the Saints. New White gets taken down, Panther gets taken down, and it looks like we're going to a map three of Saints. Clean up house. Yeah, beautiful game from the Saints. They don't want to lose this one. They want to be up there with the heavy hitters in terms of score. They want to take this win. They want to be going eight two. I mean, a great, a great start to that map for the Saints, and they are able to take it down. A bit dodgy at times, but I mean, their defense, the fact they full held that map uh, on that third point for like three and a half minutes, great, great job from them. And their ult management in that clutch scenario was perfect. They took the dry foot, and then after they had all the ultimates they could ever want, they easily walk through the Bobcats, and they tie up the series on one piece. I think the Bobcats' desperation really cost them the game there that breed all yeah for no reason on that point to try and just stop it there to try and get it in the last 30 seconds i see the vision you know it's a good plan if it was executed perfectly but against the better best teams yeah that, that wasn't gonna work there yeah i have to agree with you there if if, if if you're playing against a weaker team you know that's a play you might want to go for to try and wrap up the map quickly wrap up the series but against the saints that's definitely not a good play and it came back to bite them saints type the series i want a piece uh, what do you think was their key to success on that map? Their key to success, I think, I don't, I think it was just patience and and making sure that they got their fights, they won those fights, and they stayed pace with the enemy team. You know, I think last time they were trying to play offensive and then play very relaxed and defensive, and they were not able to keep up with BSC there. But now. I think they're going tit for tat all the way through, and then they even amped it up. They amped up the energy yeah. on that attacking half when they were able to set the tempo, and that's what won them that game. And curiously enough, the next map is also going to be another payload map. Yeah, it will be. I believe it's going to be King's Row, and this is a map that we're going to see that Orisa comp on again. So, you know, Saints showed that their stronger point is that Winston Dive type of team comp. They did very well on it, but in the Orisa matchup on map one, we saw how dominant the Bobcats were. I mean, Saints do have a bit of a refreshment of life. They won that second map, very close map, and they won it out. That's definitely a big momentum swinger. You know, Bobcats want to get the series done over with and uh, play the next series, but Saints are not going to let that happen. And now we're in a map three. I think Saints definitely have a chance at this one, but it's going to be the Orisa battle. We saw Bobcats are very strong on it, so, you know, it's definitely going to be a challenge for the Saints. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge indeed. I mean, it's 1-1 in the series. You know, these teams are as evenly matched as possible. Now, I think with the momentum, the Saints are going to be able to turn this one around. I mean, I would hope so. You know, I mean, they really want to win this one against a very strong team. Uh, deep into the season, you know, they are 7-1 both teams. So this win lo looks good for either team. And it's just about who wants it more on this final map. Yeah, I believe you're entirely right. And just thinking about how the Saints have performed on King's Row in the past. I think it's a complete toss-up in the air, honestly. <laughs> I think sometimes the Saints absolutely decimate Kings Bro. They know every corner, every strat, every high ground, every way to push onto the map. They know how to run it. But then on other times, it seems the complete office. They cannot break through. They can't even break out of spawn sometimes. So I think it's going to be an absolute coin flip here, especially with how even these teams are. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how teams, both teams decide to attack the first point. A popular strategy is to just go around right side all the way around, knock your, the other team off the high ground, and then kind of play from there. And we're actually 
we're going to be seeing a sub from the side of so. the Saints. It looks like Soaks will be subbed out for Jooster. I'm not, I think that's just like a fake name. I think that's still Soaks, honestly. You think so? Just a streamer name, honestly, if Justice I had Reigns. to guess, because I don't think they have any Justice Reigns on their team. <laughs> so I believe that will still be Soaks. So it's going to be the same lineups from the look of things. And we're going to be going to a quick pause from the look of things. But if we take a look at the comps, Saints are attacking first, and they are going for a fair Widowmaker Winston comp. Interesting. Which is not something you will see too often on King's Row, but, I mean, <laughs> it worked for them last map. I mean, why not try it again? It's going to be really tough, especially with that Ash for, yep. for both of them, really. I mean, the Genji can put a lot of pressure on both of them as well. You know, the Reflect on the Rocket are uh, being able to just approach that Widowmaker. The Genji's going to put a lot of pressure, you know, offensive pressure, and they can't really sit back either because of that Ash. It will just flush out those corners and get those shots out of the sky. I mean, yeah, that, but th that is why you pick the Widowmaker. Widowmaker has a better range mm -hmm. against the Ash, can play at a deeper distance where she won't take too much damage, but will eliminate the Ash immediately. So, I mean, that's kind of going to be the win con. If... If uh, Noxious can find the pick on the Ash, the Saints easily swoop in and eliminate their opponents. But if the opposite happens, it's going to be nearly impossible. Yeah, it's all up in the air, especially with how good BSC has done on that Ash. I mean, they didn't play Ash at all in that no, second game. No. I think it was a Widow pick. So <laughs> if we see the Ash that we saw in the first game, this is going to be a deadly, deadly Ash on the field. And it's going to be tough to play around that. Yeah, and the big thing we were talking about in the pregame, that Winston against Arista, we were we were literally talking about it. Yep. We said we might see it. You know, Squeak likes that Winston a little bit more than the Arissa. and it's going to be the the big big deciding factor in this third map. If Squeak can find the right angles, find the good dives, not take too much damage before diving in and get as much damage as possible. I mean, Winston doesn't do too much damage into Orisa in that team comp, but if you jump on the right targets, I mean, that's going to be your key to victory. Yeah, exactly. Got to try and jump on that backlog. But even if you do jump, I mean, yeah, if you jump on the Genji or someone like that, something a little squishier, and they just use their movement, they might be able to take them out. But, you know, that Ash, I think, is going to be a little bit slippery. You know, they have that shock and a move around, put a little distance between each other, you know, throw that dynamite. But still, you're right. It's all about jumping on the right target and trying to avoid that Arisa. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's just hard. It, you want to dive the Ash, she can coach gun you away. You want to dive the Brig, she can boop you away. Yeah. You want to dive the Juno, she'll fly away. I mean... Doesn't sound like a recipe to success, but if your DPS are putting in the work, it gives your monkey a lot more space to work with. So I think the DPS line for the Saints here is going to be key in this third map. Yeah, maybe that Farah is a, this is a good pick against this Arisa. You, know, you can try and trigger that splash damage, try and shake him up, play a little bit farther apart rather than clump together as they often do play. But it's still... I don't know how I feel about the fair pick. I mean, the fair pick is a bit spicy. We saw the Bobcats played on map one, and it worked relatively well. Right, but right. they did have an Orisa ultimate to combo their ultimates. Fair by herself with that ultimate. Like, if she finds one pick, she's lucky. Because you just <laughs> stay up there for so long. Everyone, exactly. once they hear that one, instantly turn on you and shoot you. So, I think it's going to be key for Razor to really find a lot of damage with all his utility and displacement. And we are just about to get into map one. It's going to be the Saints looking to take this series on King's Row. Yep. And it's going to be a very interesting one. I mean, the Saints are going to switch over to the Genji, actually. No more Farah. And we're going to, go. we're going to switch to the Aresis now. We're pretty much having a parallel comp aside from the Ash and the Widow. And I prefer the Widowmaker for sure here on this attack. I mean, the longer sight lines do exist. So finding that Ash is going to be crucial and manually falls instantly. Nice pick by Noxious. That should instantly win the Saints the fight as they're going to rush into the site. They're going to take at least one tick, maybe a second. And it's going to be hard for the Bobcats to recontest. We can see how quickly they got out of danger. This Brig is on the flank, not something you'll hear too often. Let's see if she can get anything done. There are two ticks now captured. Orissa 
will be the one uh, touching here from at the look of things. Ash on this high ground. Razor gonna look to take that one out, but Peace finds an Oxus. It's a good start to the fight for the side of the Bobcats, but this or this brig is gonna be falling down as well now as the rest of the Bobcats. Gonna look for the cleanup. It's a great start for the Saints, but you can see as soon as their Widowmaker falls, kind of all falls apart. It all fall, fell apart, but amazing progress nice from the pick. Saints, honestly, and a good pick from Noxious might be the key to open this one up because they really only need to win one more team fight, and that point is as good as theirs. Yeah, the Genji pick is probably the least significant because he can come back soon. It's not your Orisa or like a big damage threat. Brick gets taken down to 1 HP on the side of the Bobcats, and there it is, the Saints gonna use their advantage beautifully. They find the opening pick onto the Brick. Now that is something that's gonna be very, very valuable. Manually gets taken down to 1 HP. Will be able to stay alive for the time being, but Panther falls. Saints gonna be able to cap the first point here with relative ease, as this Widowmaker pick has been proven crucial so far. Crucial pick so far. Noxious was able to take out those key targets and open up the map. For the Saints oh. to just waltz on through, I mean, Noxious is getting these insane clips. It's hard to lose when Noxious is hitting shots like that. And we talked about the Widowmaker maybe being the decider in this series. Noxious forcing manually to swap over to the Widowmaker after finding so much success. I don't think we even saw a bob from that air, so that's a lot of value gained by the Saints. A lot of value indeed. I mean, Razor also threatened this Dragon Blade. Saints gearing up to have an absolutely exclusive fight here on this next point. You can tell Bobcat wants to stop the momentum. Oh, want to stop it right here. Big Spear piece getting a big pick on Nox. Just big reflect. Ventera gonna have to deal with all these ultimates. Squeak finding one through all the chaos as they're pushing on through Juno ult and the blades are oh. flying. Ventera getting two is gonna be absolutely nasty and peace popping Dragon Blade as well is gonna stop the Saints in their path. I mean that was a chaotic fight. I think Peace using that Dragon Blade might have been a bit too much, honestly. But both teams using three and four ultimates respect uh, respectively. Now it's gonna be only the Dragon Blade ready here. But still the team fight did go over to the Bobcat. So using all those ultimates did pay off for them. Let's see how this next fight's gonna kick off. Razor will have to be the big, big the game changer here with this Dragon Blade. Just poking out the Sarissa. There's the Dragon Blade coming out. Can he find anything? Finds the Brig. The Brig bashes out, but he does find the opening pick. Widowmaker doesn't find the shot there. Almost finds the dash through as Saints with that one pick should be able to grab a lot of space. You can see Bobcats desperately retreating manually. Got taken out to 1 HP again. Will survive, but it's like a very, very quick and easy team fight for the Saints. Very quick. Easy as a oversaving. They're making it look easy though with how good they are pushing in on through here. But you can definitely tell Bobcats are bunkering down oh, here. And with picks amazing. like that, it's gonna be tough to contest. Manly taking out their brig is gonna be absolutely disastrous. And you can see one pick comes through and the Bobcats are not showing any signs of slowing down. They're desperately looking to get this pick onto Noxious. And there is the kill coming through manually. We'll almost get straight out by Razor will not find that kill. You can see, as soon as the Bobcats find the pick, there is wow. no slowing down as manually. It's just starting to heat up now on this Widowmaker. Somehow the Bobcats went from their second point into the spawn of the Saints in a span of 20 seconds. They wipe out the Saints and they burn a lot of time on this clock. Yeah, and they have so much ground covered here that the Saints are going to have a really tough time breaking through. There's going to be like one or two more team fights before they can even get back to this payload. I don't know how things are going to work out, especially with time down as it is. One minute 40 remaining. The Saints in a dire spot. Absolutely massive team fight. There's the Juno all missing player. It's going to be huge. Razor's going in as well with a big dash, taking out their Genji. I mean, Nox is finding one as well. The Saints, absolutely massive push here. They're picking them off a one by one, separating the team. Divide and conquer is the name of the game as they are looking to cap this second point. All that's left is the tank. And this is gonna be a massive stagger for the rest of the team. Yeah, second point gonna be captured by the Saints. They use their ultimates just a little bit better. And they find the team fight with Noxious. They switch over to that Tracer mid-fight. 
which was maybe the deciding factor now in the same time of two and a half minutes to finish off the map. Nox is gonna go back to that Widowmaker after seeing manually switch over to the Ash. I love that switch from the Saints here. Found so much success on that early. Why would you not stick to that one? One pick is all it takes. Razor going very, very deep. Uses both his cooldowns. Let's be careful now. The dynamite from manually getting a bit of value. There's a Dragon Blade coming through from Razor. Can he find any picks here? Yes, there's a pick going down over to the brick. brick. They use the rally as well. It's a great, great start to the fight. They're going to be able to take this one. And see Bobcats with one fight remaining to hold on to the map. But Saints are just storming into the spawn. No ultimates for either side. But Saints will have all the positioning they ever need to take this one. Definitely expecting to take this last fight. Yeah, this is looking to be an amazing last fight for the Saints. Great position. They're set up. This is just tower defense or payload defense at this point. Speed finds one on the back line there. No one able to really push in on here because they don't want to throw away their lives for nothing. Taking out the Widowmaker is going to be key here. Pantera putting themselves on the site, trying to get ult charge before they do. But Nocturne with two kills. It's going to clear three kills. It's going to clean up the round and the Saints are going to clear this one three and oh. Oh, and it's up to the Bobcats to match that amazing pace. I mean, Saints with a complete 180 in this series, looking so much worse on that Orisa comp to now completely annihilating the Bobcats. And I think that Widowmaker pick has been crucial to this outcome. Noxious time and time again, finding pick after pick has definitely led his team to this full cap. But the rest of the Saints playing perfectly as well to win every team fight. Their ult management has been superb so far and the way they use ultimates to find a tempo, they, need, they will need much more of that on the defense. But with a minute and 30 on the clock, if they can just stop the Bobcats and burn down their clock, it's gonna be hard for the Bobcats to really get anything going on this map. Yeah, pretty tough. Let's see if the Saints have some defense and I think King's Row is really decided on this first point. If you can hold them here, even if they cap it, right? You need to hold them here on this first point for as long as possible, because I think you really only get two or three tries to stop that payload and that second point. Third point, it's always a toss-up, you know, but you never want to be having to hold it on that third point exclusively. So let's see if the Saints can tighten their game up on the defense as well. Yeah, they will absolutely look to do so manually. We'll go over to that Widowmaker. Let's see if the Saints fall for their own trap. And there is a pause coming through yet again. Um, not, not too sure why the pause is taking place, but, you know, let's talk about the first round a little bit. The Saints, I mean, they put on a performance and they put themselves definitely in the driver's seat to take the series. Yeah, they're in the driver's seat, locked and ro loaded, amping up the gears, putting the pedal to the metal, all gas and no brakes. They're going to take it all the way to the end, it looks like. But it's still 1-1 in the overall series. I mean, the Saints have had an amazing last run of it the past few games. It's just all up to them to keep that momentum going. You don't want it to try and swing over in the BSC's favor if you can try and stop it. Yeah, I mean, Saints definitely going to look to stop this one in their tracks. They don't want to give any time on the clock here as we're right back into the round. You can see Soaks, you can see Manuel around that wall with that shield. As the first pick goes down onto Razor, there's a May on the field. Peace wow. will be playing that one. That's a great start to the round of four. Brian and Stranded is going to be the Saints just dropping like flies. This might be a cap in record time as uh, the rest of Brian and Stratton happily get on the point. Saints just fell apart. This is what you were saying earlier. You wanted to see some off-meta picks, and I mean, and May is a little bit of a disruption from what we've been seeing all day today. Yeah, I mean, it, May is just very strong on this map because your wall, especially on this first and second point, can just divide the enemy team so, so much. Let's see how the Saints play, decide to play against this one. They have a bit more damage in the Ash Genji, but the more utility is definitely on side of the Bobcats' piece. Very, very close to that May ultimate. That could be a deciding factor. It's 80% already doing a great job. Could be the deciding factor in this team fight right around this corner. You can see the Saints trying to stop Bobcats from walking through in here, but I think once this May ultimate calms down, it's going to be hard for the Saints to do anything. Try breaking 
through here. They can just try to break through this offensive line and take a little bit of space. But now, with all of the people being taken up by Peace and manually, I mean, this May is absolutely wrecking house here. No one's able to really take it out. Doesn't have enough burst damage on these supports. And on the game, she's trying to just take out that May in one clean hit. And you know, May Widowmaker is not something you will see ever, but I mean, it's been working for the Bobcat Saints. I don't even know if they've gotten a kill this round. They're struggling immensely here. They will have one more shot at the defense here, but against the walls of the Widowmaker, they're going to be giving up a lot of space for the next touch. Give up a lot of space, and I mean, you don't want this next point to be capped in such a oh! fast time. Beautiful pick by Razor. The ultimates are coming through. All the ultimates are coming through on the side of the oh, big Bobcats. They need to take this point. They don't want to stop the momentum here. But Razor taking out the back line needs to take them out. But Pantera gets a huge Terra Surge, taking May out of the game. It's going to be Squeak trying to chase them all off of this point. And I mean, the Saints are going to make a stand. And now is the time. Razor put his team on his back there on the Genji, found the Widowmaker and then found the Juno. The two big picks as the rest of the team were able to stay alive in the backline. Noxious realized Ash is not the pick here. Both teams kind of realizing that Ash might not be the pick. Widowmaker just superior from the look of things as both players will be on that option here. We have basically exact mirrors now from both sides who can play about three and a half minutes though for the bobcats to cap here if saints can get this clock down a little bit they do have the map capped with a minute they can put themselves in a position but no matter what they cannot lose the map red x is saying now very very low has to be careful here will be able to stay alive a lot of shots could come through there from manually in the meantime doesn't look like it will saints still stalling out this clock as bobcats look for the rotate Rotate in there, looking for anything at this point. They have had such a first run, but the Saints not having the worst time stopping them. And Terra getting it on the big pick on the back line. And Razor trying to stop them all on his lonesome, it feels like. But at this point, I don't think anything can stop this payload. The first pick comes through from manually on that Widowmaker and it starts to fight up for the side of Bob Casarissa. It does come through from Squeak here. Does he have the support needed? One HP left on that Lucio. Will be able to stay alive. Redix is back as well. There's a pick from Noxious onto that break. That's a great start to the fight. As you can see now Bobcats just trying to get out of out of danger. Saints somehow bring that one back down a man. I think that Lucio switch was very, very good. Got the extra support back just in time there's gonna be a lot of time burned here by the saints and the bobcats definitely not gonna be happy with how that push went yeah the saints can't win it right here they want to burn as much time as possible so when they have to play this one again they'll have that advantage at the very least but Rota has ultimate going in pantera also with them another character this is gonna be a bloody fight for the saints yeah, the Juno ultimate gets used, the ultimate gets used, Redix falls first and the rest of the Saints are going to be quick to fall. A very, very swift team fight win for the side of Bobcats. Razor does find one on the trade, but not a lot of resistance here from the Saints as they get completely run over. It's going to be Bobcats with a decent time bank on this last point, three minutes. But if Saints can get this down to zero, there's it, the map is unlosable for them. If they can stop the cap, they win the series. It's going to be tough though, Bobcats have had, had so much momentum on this attack and I mean, the Saints, yeah sure they got it all the way here, but it looks like Bobcats might even beat them on time unless the team can stop them right here, right now. And Terra, an absolute brawl here with the Orisa and Squeak, taking very, very low half health, not too much more to burn. And now Proto going in as well, keeping it pretty up and healthy. The Saints are having a really tough time finding some deep hits and Noxious is in there getting taken out by Peace and Redix. Taking out Peace is going to try and hold everything together. I mean, it's going to be the ultimate coming up from Squeak, who's building this one up so quickly. Manually actually falls to that one. Not sure how that happened, but that's going to be a fight win for the Saints. And just like that, they burn one minute off the clock. Two more successful fights. 
they can take this map. No ultimates ready for the Bobcats. I think the ultimate economy is going to be the most important thing for the rest of the map. Other, other than the Widowmaker picks, those no have been crucial to swing these team fights. Manly will be the first to get to those walls. Noxious 94 doesn't have it just yet, and that's going to make a lot of space as Razor going to be the first one to fall. Now Saints definitely need to use their ultimates to win this team fight. There it is. Going to be used to rally. Can they find any picks off that one? The Arisa ultimate is huge. They find the pick onto the brick as now it looks like Bobcats are going to be the ones to cap. Will they be able to get more time than the Saints? I do not believe so, but Nox just falls as well. The Juno ultimate from Red X forces a bit of a backup here from the Bobcats, but as soon as they decide to push with their Juno ultimate, it might be all she wrote for the Saints. One final attempt from Razor with the Dragon Blade finds one. Can he find anything else? No, but that's a great pick. Maybe the Saints can come back. The Zenyatta picked up here for the Saints. Can they get a touch on this point? Yes, they do. They already have the time lead. Razor does fall down, and they don't touch the Aww. point. They put themselves in the spot to win this team fight, but now both teams with just over a minute, we're going <laughs> to deep into overtime times now. Yeah, we are in overtime. The team of time difference is not very much. I believe it is, what is that? 17 seconds of difference between the two, which is not a lot. That is maybe a few bullets fired, a few abilities popped here and there. Saints do have the lead, but it's gonna be up to them to give one more good push. We have to see what they have left in them. That's gonna be tough. King's Row first point is either make it or break it. If you don't get that first push successful, yeah. it's usually not gonna go very well for the next minute or two. Especially with this kind of time bank, if you lose that first fight and it's an extended fight, you're in a bit of trouble. If, you, if it's a quick fight, you lose quickly. I mean, still not good, but at least you have a second chance. But with this amount of time, I think one team fight is all you have. And it looks like Peace will be back onto the May. And manually gonna be on the Ash. I'm pretty certain that Ash will turn into a Widowmaker from the way the map has been played. But from the look of things, might not be happening just just yet. Five Four, seconds three, round is about two, to kick off. One. And it is gonna be the Ash from the look of things that will be played by the Bobcats. So Nox is gonna have a lot of space to work with here to find the shots, but it's gonna be a brawl comp. There's the pick onto the Ash, a great start for the Saints. It's a quick team fight win. As I was talking about, it's gonna give the Bobcats a chance to re restart, but Peace finds a pick onto Noxious, and now it's gonna be the advantage for the side of the Bobcats. So much damage gone for the Saints here now. They only have the Genji as their damage dealer. It's gonna be easy pick, uh, easy tick picked up by the side of the Bobcat Saints will have a touch available. That's a nice Maywall though. Blocks off a bit of healing squeak. is taking down to one hit point. Very fortunate to not get taken down there. Has the gold, but the ring comes through. Saints trying to get back into this fight, but Squeak gets taken down and it looks like Bobcats will get the capture. They still have time on the clock as a couple picks do come through from Noxious and Razor, but the trades in return are way more valuable for the Bobcats. They get the team kill and now the Saints are going to be spawning so far away as the Bobcats look to push through this map. Yeah, the Saints having a really tough time here on this first one. I mean, they held it relatively well, and Bobcats now going into overtime. This is just one last mad dash, but the problem is the Saints are going to have to outperform this. They want to try and stop it as soon as possible. The better a run they get, if they somehow even get to the second point, it's going to be absolutely disastrous for the Saints, especially with their attack. Well, was more successful, was hard won on that first point. Absolutely, and now Bobcats getting close to the total is manually switched over to the Widowmaker and is already 86% to that Widowmaker ultimate. Noxious will have that one up. Razor will. Oh, that's a nice pick by Squeak on to Peace. Peace definitely should have used that ice block there to stay alive. And that's going to be a huge start to the fight for the Saints. The rally gets used by the brick. Can you keep Manuel alive? No, Razor's going to find the one. Find the second as Saints take everyone down. Bobcats had all the ultimates they could ever want, but Saints finding the first wow. pick shut them down in the streets phase. Now they give themselves a chance to win this map on the attack. Exactly. Now it's all up to the Saints to try and cap this one out. I mean, with such little time remaining, that was a relatively good run yeah. for the Bobcats. It's going to be tough for the Saints to try and match that. It's not impossible, though. It's very well within their reach. But will they be able to do it? This first point is always so difficult to cap, and 
it's been a while since the Saints have been on that attacking run. I mean, it's been the, since the beginning of the game yeah. oh. for them. But another pause comes through once again. <laughs> Wondering what's happening here. Maybe just some some tech issues or some good one. <laughs> Regardless, the Saints are well within the sights of victory. I mean, I haven't seen such a close game in quite some time. Yeah, I mean, for a best of three, this is a very, very, very close game. Map two came down to the last team fight. This game is going to come down to the last team fight as well. And I think the Saints, they can just win this first team fight. It gives them a chance. If Bobcats win the te first team fight, it just becomes very hard because then you're fighting against Alt Economy and Time. If you can win the first team fight like the Bobcats did on their attack, you could see how the steamroll continues on. Definitely. You can definitely tell that once that ball gets rolling, it's not going to stop. And I like the surprise switch up from the Saints. They're going to go caution to the wind. Wow. Never mind. We're <laughs> switching back to the Arisa. <laughs> Yeah, the Rissa just a bit too strong on this map, can deny so much. He, Panther can just sit up here, you're on Winston, you try and dive that high ground, but you're not getting very, very far. But it looks like Saints will go for the low ground approach here. A hotel here, the spear does get reflected back at Squeak. As it's a decent start to the defense for the Bobcats. The Saints haven't found any picks yet, can not just find the opening headshots for them to work with here. Looking for it, but the Bobcats are doing a great job. They're staying out of this Widowmaker's line of sight in this hallway. Now the push is going to come through. They all in. They find a Noxious in just a split second decision there from the Bobcats. Instantly wins them that first team fight as now Saints have one more life left. 40 seconds and ticking. It's going to be a very, very rough, rough map now for the Saints if they want to win it. It's just going to be a desperate, mad dash to try and cap this site and rip, rip the payload down the streets. But it's going to be very tough. Bobcats just playing very defensively, not giving up sight all too much. Oh! Trying to keep themselves up, and Pantera taking out Noxious is going to be a big boon to themselves. And now, the Luisas are fighting, he's taking out Razor, no one's there to touch. And with time ticking down to nothing, it's looking like such a hard-fought game for the Saints. It eventually ends in a loss, 2-1, to one, as you predicted, Theo, but not the Saints' favor. Not in the Saints' favor as Bobcats do an amazing job on the second half of that map. It's going to be manually picking up the play of the game on the Widowmaker. And this was the overtime push for them. Finds the shot on, wow. on to Squeak. The Brig goes very aggressive and gets taken down. Saints did get a couple picks back, but that's a beautiful shot onto Juno. And the Noxious gets taken down as well. It's going to be the Bobcats moving to 8-1 and one as our Saints drop to 7-2. and two. Yeah, 7-2. and two, It's looking like the Saints. I feel like they're going to go 8-2. and two. I know sometimes the momentum, the mental can affect you. But I think regardless, they still have that drive to win. They're not going to want to go down. Uh, they're not going to go down not fighting. They're not going to go down without a good fight. But wow, what an amazing match that was. It was so back and forth. The Saints, it feels like they should have won that. I know that's going to be very tough. They had the Such full a cap. Close game. Yeah. They had the full cap, but unfortunately for them, BSC just came out swinging. The Bobcats were wild as ever, and no one could stop them. Yeah, I think the Saints have a little bit to work on from that uh, that series, but they should still be overall pretty happy with their performance. They played relatively well. You know, they got the full cab on the last map. I think if, they definitely felt that they could stop the Bobcats from capping the map, but Bobcats did play very, very well, and they made some very, very clutch hero plays. So it was just a great, great match from both sides. Bobcats do get the win as a Saints, you know, have one more match to play, as you said, you need to stay locked in, have a short memory of what just happened, but maybe have a good memory of all the good things they did. Exactly, and one thing that I'm always going to remember is when the May won that sniper battle. I feel like that was, that was kind of the turning point. point at some point. They're just not expecting the May, so maybe that's a hint they can take into the next few yeah. games. Maybe... Maybe play a little bit more off, man. Maybe shake it up and bring that surprise to the enemy team, and hopefully it goes in your favor. But with one more game remaining left in these Swiss rounds, the Saints will see you in the next game in about...
10 minutes. So with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a very quick break. We'll see you then.